This is a petrol generator and it's leaking a bit of oil and it's coming out of what seems to be the valve cover and I'll show it to you right now. So what is happening is when it's on it's like oil is spitting out of here and it's also leaking down the bottom. So I think the little rubber gasket is finished. So I'm going to open this and then change the gasket. This is where the rockers are and the springs. Uh, this is a size 10. And just pull it out gently. Here's the old gasket. It uh, looks like it's finished. It's got no elasticity at all. It's actually quite brittle. There you can see the rockers. Right, so I'm just going to use some thinners. And just put it on a lint-free cloth. And just clean the surface here where the uh, gasket is going to seat. And on this side. Right, so that is completely dry of any oil. And sometimes these gaskets have been sitting in a warehouse and they get a bit dusty. So it's a good idea to just give it a bit of a wipe. Now my advice is to put it on here first before you put it on there. And you'll see that it's got an almost hexagonal shape. And there's like a lip around the side here which is going inside like the little flap over there. Okay, so there you can see all the way around, wrapped around there, and now it's time to put this on. Just make sure you see there, I bumped it on the lifter here, and uh, what happens then is, gets a bit of oil there. So you don't want any oil on this thing. Right, so when you put it back, just make sure there's no oil. Go. Right, just do a final check that this is properly overlapping everywhere. There we go. Okay, now it's time to tighten it. If you don't have a torque wrench, you tighten this fairly tight, not very tight. Remember, even though this is a size 10. Uh, this is in an aluminium block, so it can crack quite easily, especially when it is hot. So this is not something you tighten very tight, and I'm using a torque wrench, and I'm just taking it to 15 newton meters. So there we go.